need an intro. We do. Yeah. You know, for the amount of intros we've done, it's astonishing to me how we've not gotten stuck without an intro. Till now. <laughs> Back to Stupid Reactions Unit. I'm Corbett. Worst intro ever. Yep. And uh, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more mm -hmm. juicy content. It's so juicy. That was Grandma Rokandi meeting Twitter. <laughs> and uh, thank you for us on Patreon and follow us on official Rokandi. Twitter account. Okay. Uh, what, are we doing? what are we doing? What are we, we doing? We're doing a trailer. Okay. It's called Ships of Thesis. I've heard of this. It's been requested for a while, especially by somebody on Patreon. Uh, but it's been requested a lot. I've heard of this. Uh, have you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out why and where and how. Um, don't have any slightest clue what it's about. Ships of Thesis, I, I... Um, you might be thinking of Ships of Hir Hiroshima? No, no, no. No. Why is that funny? Because that's one of the biggest flops last year. It's oh, Amir was it? The Amir Khan and the, uh... Ships of Hiroshima? It's like, it was like a bad ripoff of, um... Pearl Harbor? But no, um, oh. uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Really? Oh yeah, it bombed. It bombed Ooh. last year. No, okay, so... I uh, no idea what it's about. Here we go. <laughs> Interesting logo. Devil Tail, Angel Obviously, there's the, the blind woman who uh, is taking pictures, but then something to do with a kidney? I, I, 
I'm gathering based from the footage and what we've seen uh -huh. is that it is three or four uh -huh. specific interest stories of these people's experience. Yeah. The blind photographer, the kidney transplant situation. Yeah. The man with cirrhosis of the liver who won't take the medicine. Yes. And it's documenting each of these people's experiences as to what they're going through and why they're going through it. And somehow there's a connection of more than just India that they are experientially living these things out in India. Uh -huh. But I am guessing a lot of it has to do with the culture that they're in and the particular differences between where they are in the different regions of India, what's accepted, not accepted. Gotcha. And, and I, it 2012, I can't tell this is what's extraordinary. I can't tell if this is a dramatic thing written for the screen or a documentary. Yeah, it that's what that like was, a documentary. That was my question. If it's if it is a film, great job. But if this is a written for screen drama that is supposed to look like a documentary, fantastic. give it its Oscar nomination right now. I think it did. Uh, it came out in twenty twelve. The film explores questions of identity, justice, beauty, meaning, and death through an experimental photographer, an ailing monk. And a young stockbroker. Yes, but is it a documentary? It says drama. Is it the director of Tumbad? One of the directors of Tumbad. Uh, a lot of you. Uh, I'm literally gobsmacked if that's not a documentary. Is it? A and Hugo Weaving is obviously the producer. Yeah. The title of the film alludes to Theseus's paradox, most notably recorded in Life of Theseus, wherein the Greek historian and philosopher Plutarch inquires whether a ship that has been restored by replacing all its parts remains the same ship. The film... Uh, I'm trying to see yeah, I need if to discover somebody tells me if it is a... Variety. Indian cinema. It doesn't say documentary on IMDb, so I'm assuming it's a film. Which is crazy. Yeah, I, I guess it, it looks good. If you go to Wikipedia, just there, it should tell you the story, plot, main cast, casting. It's a freaking, it's not a documentary. Wow. Because it looked like a documentary. <laughs> it looked. I was certain it was. Yeah. That was, that was a great line in it, especially with when you, that person was comparing it to terrorism. Like, yeah, he's like, why, yes, saying the, the, the violence you're doing to your own body and ending your life, why, because of your ideology, how are you any different than a terrorist? I mean, my first thought immediately was, because he's not killing anybody else, you moron. <laughs> yeah, boob. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, yeah, so I'm guessing that I mean, that's from... one of many stark contrasts. Yeah. Uh, um, that looks so interesting to me. I'm... Just flat out. I'm assuming this didn't do well in terms of box office draw because it's not one of those types of films. Not made for that. But for all of you who have seen it, and I'm sure there's a lot, well, because we have a lot of cinema. It lovers. looks like it's already had an Indian distribution. I don't know that it's had an American distribution, which they may be saving it. No, it came out in 2013. It has. Oh, it's 2013. It won, it won like an LA uh, Film Festival award. It said it right at the end. Look right here. Yeah, it's got a lot of winners. Winner of Los Angeles Indian Film Festival. Mumbai. Uh, Hong Kong. Uh, why is, why is Mum, Mumbai... Oh, okay, got it. Um, Brisbane, Munich. Yeah, so it's, it's that it's released a while back. Uh, in what, I've heard of it. What is it. What language is it in? Was it Hindi? Or did it just travel everywhere? I was so enamored with uh, what yeah. I was seeing visually. I, yeah, I, I wasn't thought, paying attention I, to I the phonetic. I thought for sure it was a, uh, a documentary. 100%, no doubt in my mind. And I was like, oh, cool, getting our first documentary. 100%, uh, no doubt in my mind. Wow. Wow. I'd be very interested to watch this. This looks like a, a gripping thinker. Yep. Uh, so for those of you who have seen it, obviously no spoilers. Thank you so much. You guys are golden about that. In the comments, let us know. Man. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm astonished. <laughs> <laughs> I, and it's 100% uh, of Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, but a lot of fun, because, you know, we get uh, Rotten Tomatoes here. Right. And that's like a lot of people's go-to. Go-to. See what, if it's fresh or if it's not. Right. 
a lot of Indian films, there's like eight reviews right. on Rotten Tomatoes because right. a lot of them don't get reviewed by a lot of people that are on Rotten Tomatoes. Correct. Um, so uh, please let us know that in the comments uh, if this is worth a watch because it looks amazing. Man. <laughs>